On the other side of Saudi Arabia is another vision of the future. In a sea beyond platforms and refineries, there is salvation and new life. In August, on one magical night in the Gulf, the sandstorms and the summer of growth have had an extraordinary effect. Slowly at first, eggs and larvae are released in millions. This wasn't known to happen here on this scale, let alone filmed before. Palola worms release wriggling egg cases that fragment into capsules of eggs. Packages explode with new life. The specially adapted gulf corals, the hardy survivors of a superheated sea, will release eggs too. And egg eaters can't possibly eat them all. Eggs and larvae begin a journey to regenerate the ocean. Tenophores are joined by bigger jellies. This jellyfish is like a mobile reef. A lifeboat full of shrimps and fish and eggs. A Noah's Ark. On the islands where cormorants and terns nested, and dust storms blew nutrients into the sea, now baby green turtles start on their journey. They join the eggs and larvae, the gift of the gulf. One lucky hatchling might survive to return here in about 20 years' time. By then, tougher corals from the Gulf may be helping the Red Sea Reef to cope with warmer times. The Gulf, at first, seemed like the ugly duckling of the two seas. Now, it seems the Gulf may perform a final miracle and restock the reef. The two seas are an extraordinary reflection of each other. The parade of riches in the Red Sea relies on almost nothing. The harshness of the Gulf has become its true wealth. Tomorrow night at 8, join Tiger Man as he works to prevent the disappearance of one of the most elegant and extraordinary big cats. Next tonight, though, the Python Hunters.